well. We're going to have to thank Noman Carr after all. The Sith showed. Stand down, Sith. The Padawan you seek is not here. Master Carr discovered her plan and talked her out of it. It's not your day. You were expecting one lowly little Padawan to crush. And instead, you get us. Save yourself some trouble and tell me where she is. The Sith has a sense of humor. Believe me, Master Carr didn't send us to help you. I am Alden. This is Xylix. We are fully trained Jedi Knights and more than your match. You should submit. Of course, we have yet to encounter a Sith who had the sense to surrender. You all seem bent on having us destroy you. I have no quarrel with you. Let's just go our separate ways. Now, why would we agree to just let you go? Xylix, we assume this Sith would engage, as all others we face have. If that's not the case... No, Alden. This Sith will continue to hunt Noman Carr and his Padawan. We must end the threat for good. True Jedi don't attack to kill. The light side demands temperance. Who are you to lecture about the light side? The Sith force us to take measures like this. You, Sith, pose an exception. Your vile attempts to hurt Noman Carr and Jason Wilson are provocation enough. You don't know my motivations. Come on! It doesn't take a genius to know you came here to destroy. Your presence is all the confirmation we need. Right, Alden? No. Xylix, I... I'm unsure. Master Carr claims this Sith means Jace a harm, but we have no proof. Master Carr's word is proof enough. I have no crisis of conscience, assuming his assessment is sound. That's an assumption I cannot make, my friend. I will not engage. I must walk away. And I urge you to do the same. You may have derailed Alden's resolve, Sith, but your luck ends there. I'll take you on myself. You're going to regret that. Never! I yield! I yield to you! Damn Alden for leaving me to face you alone! can't count on anyone who follows the Jedi Code. You are right. It's infuriating. Your strength is undeniable. Is there such power in the dark side? Denounce the Jedi. The darkness is your only path to inner peace. I'll... I'll consider what I've seen here. You leave me with much to ponder. Apprentice, the timing of this call is fortuitous. I was just about to contact you with news. The Padawan bade me meet with her, so I went to end this. But two of Carr's Jedi friends were waiting instead. Fascinating. It seems both Master and Padawan have been disturbed by your exploits. I have received a transmission from Noman Carr, calling me out, if you will. Challenging me to face him to the death. Our enemy has become desperate. Allow me the privilege of destroying him. You have read my mind, Apprentice. Carr fails to understand I have outgrown our personal dispute. He expects me to jump at the chance of strangling him. He will be unprepared for you. Just tell me where to go. The duel is to happen on Hutter at the site of Noman Carr's betrayal so long ago. A fitting place for this to end. Defeat him. But do not kill him. His torment will reach out to his Padawan. He will be the bait that brings her to you. You honor me. I can feel Jasa Wilson on the verge of breaking, and Carl's desperate actions confirm it. Subdue the master, and the pupil will come to save him. I have foreseen it. This tells me that my fellows Olden and Xylix must have failed. Pity. Should have known Barris couldn't be trusted. As a man of my word, 
I'm here. Alone as agreed. Your master shows himself a coward, sending you in his stead. I haven't come to kill you. No, I'm sure you're here to play Pazak. You are Barris's pawn, an especially resourceful and powerful one, but still only that. I must put an end to you. Once you're out of the way, Jason will provide the proof I need to open the Jedi Council's eyes and expose Barris's network of spies. Don't force me to destroy you. This ends now, Sith. Ah! Ah! The Force is very strong with you. I must dig deeper. You're digging your own grave, Jedi. No! This is not right! Fall! You must fall to me! I never do what I'm supposed to do. Silence, Sith. Womb is mortal, Sith. At least I die knowing you'll never find Jaysa. My lord, Darth Barra sent us in case you needed help. Clearly that's not the case. He said Noman Carr should be kept alive. May we stabilize him? No. Barris be damned! I want... to die. Then Jaysa will be safe. Despite what you think, I'm not trying to kill your Padawan. Lies. Tricks. We'll save him, my lord, and then be out of your way in an adjacent chamber. Hurry, man! The Jedi's fading! I... am alive. I see through you, Sith. You only saved me so that Jason would believe your heart is pure. I will not be the bait that draws Jason to you. There's no reason for you to become so distraught. I was supposed to expose Barris and open the Jedi Council's eyes. It was my destiny. Jaysa is mine. The glory of defeating Barris is mine. My lord, the Padawan approaches. Make room for our guest of honor. Sith, I have come. It seems I was expected. Your men outside let me pass. Release Master Carr. Your efforts to draw me out have been a success. Jaysa, no! I told you to stay put. How dare you defy me! I have long been waiting for this moment. My sacrifice for nothing! Stupid child! For all your power, you have understood nothing. What have you done to him, Sith? Has this been inside him all along? No. It can't be. No one can hide such darkness. Somehow you've turned him mad! Look into your master's heart and see the truth. Master Carr taught me not to use my power as a crutch, only when it was clearly necessary. I've never brought it to bear on him, but... I... I sense... Pride, and envy, and hate, and vengeance? No! What Sith trick is this? I would have known if such darkness resided within him. This is what the Jedi do. They mask and pretend and hide. I... I thought I'd found something I could count on. The Jedi are pure. You're supposed to know where you stand with them, right? Jason, it's all a trick. Turn your power on the Sith, and you'll see! Look at me as long as you like. I have nothing to hide. Very well, then. There is great contradiction within you. I see darkness, greed, anger, but there is light as well. Mercy, justice. Your intentions are not knowable. You sound scared, and you should be. I see the only way to end this madness is to defeat you. Yes! Strike now, Jaysa! Take the Sith down! Defend yourself, Sith!
I am no match. You had the opening you needed to kill me, and yet you held back. Your death would be a tragedy. Your actions reflect only light. You appear to be an agent of the dark side, but it's a mask. But Master Carr also wears a mask, and his deception is a much uglier one. It's about time you figured it out. All my life, I've put up with deceit and denial. I thought the Jedi would be different. You've shown me otherwise. You've exposed Master Carr for what he is. It's your power that reveals a person's true nature. The fear you inspire forces truth to the surface. I want that. I have experienced both sides of the Force. You should remain on your current path. Then I am to survive this encounter? I trust you. If remaining on the light path will serve you best, I embrace it. Please, let me stand at your side. I'll follow you wherever it takes me. Imagine having someone who can see through the deceptions of your rivals and enemies. I'll convince my master that you've fallen to the dark side. And I will take you under my wing. At last, I feel a sense of purpose. Something I can count on. What do you wish of me? And what shall we do with Master Carr? He has turned away from the light. He needs guidance to heal and find his way back. Your wisdom is unrivaled, my lord. Jaysa, I'll see to it that the Jedi disavow you. You will be labeled an enemy of the Order. Then I'll finally know where I stand with you. You took me as far as you were able. I hope this does not leave you bitter. Truth can cause the most painful wounds. I wish him the best. I am ready to learn your ways, my lord. And I look forward to aiding you any way I am able. No. No. This cannot be. My fate. Who are you to preside over me? You. You are nothing. I am. I am Norman Carr. Apprentice, my soldiers informed me that you subdued Master Carr, but I've heard no further update. What has transpired? Where is Norman Carr? What became of him is inconsequential. I suppose that's true. It was the girl who posed the threat. I see you have a new passenger. Jason Wilson, I presume. This is my master, Darth Barris. Greetings, my lord. Your parents are alive and thriving here on Drummond Kass. They'll be so pleased to know you are safe. Please tell them I have never been happier. I sense her devotion to you, apprentice. However did you manage that? I learned from the best, master. <laughs> Excellent. The perfect disciple. There's no denying you are a master of the dark arts now. Only the most accomplished among us are named as lords among Sith. You have more than earned the distinction. I hereby confer the title of Sith Lord upon you. You honor me. Through your exemplary service, you honor yourself. I award a considerable stipend to those who attain such a rank in my service. Enjoy it. Now celebrate as you see fit. Then return to me here on Dromund Kos. I have great plans for us. Wow. A lord. I'm impressed. Congratulations, my lord. You've both been a great help. Service is its own reward. Yeah, what he said. I already prepared Jace's quarters. I'll go ahead and show her to them. Nice of you to assume some initiative. I'm here to help. Come on, Jace, let's get you set up. Whenever you need me, my lord, whatever your order, I'll be ready. As it should be. So, my lord, now you have the girl. A victory. I dare say, even Barris failed to anticipate. You've become a Sith Lord, 
and your power base is growing. Where are your sights set now? Now we crush all the Empire's enemies and bring the Republic to its knees. I hope to be there when you deal the final blow. I leave you to enjoy this achievement. We would be honored if you would join.